hands as well. We'll bring some out next year. That's a great, because great idea. Maybe to display somebody, them around anytime. Yeah, yeah, maybe somebody sure. doesn't have a tree up yet and you could leave them out year round. I hear from a lot of our ladies that they, they don't want to put them away. They're so beautiful. I'd love, ladies, if you oh like the idea my. of the stands, go to David Dangle QVC, QVC? Yep. or Jackie Gonzalez QVC. Let us know what you think. We'll pass it on to the buyers. Okay. But here we go. All I mean, five stars, top rated. Oh, really? Now, we debuted these in Jill Bauer's Christmas in July. Oh, that's gorgeous. And it gorgeous. was an honor to be in that show because she has such great taste yes. for the holidays. And these were thrilling that we finally had them early. So, you know, we always sell them out before before you, you know, really get around they to decorating do. your house. So it's a choice, not a choice, it's all four mm -hmm. in a fabulous red collector's box, a satin box. We have done these since 2006 every year. Ten years. They're Fabergé inspired. As you know, Joan, because of, you, know, you saw at the Christie's auction recently, Joan had a spectacular museum quality collection of Fabergé. She, she and her husband had collected all of her life. So she knew what we were, she was talking about when mm -hmm. it came time to design mm -hmm. these ornaments. They are hallmarked. You will see 2016 on the top of every cap. We make a certain amount for the year. And when they're gone, they're gone. And inevitably, you write me on my Facebook page or you try oh, and go to the auction sites and find, find them. them. And you know what? I just I love to warn everybody because I don't want to see you miss out. And yes. I have every set from day one, and I, when I trim my tree, it's probably 90% Joan Rivers right now. So it looks, it's great. a sea of Russian ornaments. So we'll, we'll walk through with each one, if you don't Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. Because they're always inspired by the imperial eggs that Fabergé made for the Tsar of Russia and for yes. various royal families. And just to know that not only is it top rated, it's all five stars. Is that right? Isn't that Every, lovely? We've got ladies who have been shopping with us for years and like just like David collect them every oh, year yeah, or buy much. two sets and break them up. Yep. So here we go. Okay so it's a set again all hand blown, all hand painted, hand decorated. Everything you see all here has crystals? been done by hand. Whoa. Everything about it. So the purple egg is based on an, an egg that Fabergé made for Tsar Nicholas as a gift to his mother which is very unusual. He would normally give them to the Tsarina or yes. the Tsarina would commission eggs for her. So this was made for, for his mother, Maria Fedorovna, who was, you know, as obviously the mother of the Tsar. And it's in the Art Nouveau style, which was very different for Fabergé. He usually yes. did a more of a Rococo or Baroque. And the first time we've ever introduced these sort of granular beads, yes. which I think is so, small sort of like bead. mill grain. Yeah, they're little tiny beads that are all placed in by hand. They, oh, fabulous camera work, guys. So again, you're getting detail that I have never seen before in ornaments for the tree. So that's the purple. And it's a matte purple, which Fabergé used kind of not that often. He loved the shine of the enamels and he would do these sort of matte or frosted finishes, mm -hmm. which are also beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, the green. Now the green egg is of 50, oh, there were 57 wow. imperial eggs. Two of them were saluting the green colors. So he used green very seldomly. This is done in the Pan-Slavic style, so it has a little bit of that look, Southern Russia, St. Petersburg inspiration. Look at how reflective. You're yeah, seeing our I've whole, seen the studio. whole studio. Hi, guys. <laughs> Wave. There's our light Isn't that amazing? with our camera on. Wow. So you're seeing, again, a combination of cloisonne and enameling, which Fabergé would have mixed the two, and the combination of shiny and matte. So you're seeing that frosted at the top and the shine in the middle. I've never seen that on an ornament anywhere before. What a combination. And remember, once these are sold out, that's all that we have for the season. Yep. Um, so here okay, is Okay, here we go. This. Now this is the, it's called the Danish Silver Jubilee Egg is what we based it on. This was a gift from the Tsar to his wife in 1888. We're talking a long time ago that Fabergé, who was the, the, the jeweler to the Tsars, French, of course, in, in, his, in his birth, but was really kind of known for the for the jewels that he made for the Russian family. So in this case, this was a gift to um, King Christian of Denmark, who was the was the queen's uh, the czar's Zarina's father. So all those families were interrelated. Wow. They were all coming down through the, the the one royal family. On the end, we have the imperial Zarovich egg, which is the red. And I'll wait till you come over here. But look at the painting. I that mean, that's is just royal. incredible. Look at this red. So here we go. The imperial Zarovich egg. This was again a gift from the Tsarina to the Tsar. It's got sort of an, a salute to the uh, imperial eagle, sort of done in that beautiful gold filigree. It looks like mercury glass. It, it, it's, it, again, it's in that style of that sort of mercury glass. Remember, these are all hand blown, one at a time. These don't pop out of a mold. These aren't machine made. These are, and actually I have pictures, which I'll put up on my Facebook page, okay. of, the, of the craftsmen making the eggs from, literally from clear glass and blowing them. This is in the Rococo style. So this would have been Fabergé saluting a different time as well. 
So it's Fabergé working in probably 1900, saluting 1750, wow. which I think is pretty awesome as well. So, and done in that beautiful red mercury glass. They're each one a work of art. I love that a lot of ladies tell me they, they keep a set for themselves and they gift a set to four of their friends. We are having people, awesome. who, ladies and gentlemen, who are buying more than one set. It's awesome. Um, and you know, one of the things, whether you're keeping these for yourself, maybe you're going to start off a collection for um, a brand new bride and groom who's starting their own home. Oh, uh, awesome. That's a lovely yes. gift. And then if you are someone who absolutely loves these and you're having a small dinner party, you could put one at each place setting. And Joan used to do that. Somebody Joan and would tuck them into the napkin and they used to take them home. And oh. they'll come to you on a lovely gold string, which I think is, is, is kind of perfect to just sort of tie them onto the tree. Yes. And I will tell you, I have uh, every single year when I have my annual Christmas party, which I hope you'll come this year, I find that people stand around the tree and point and talk about this one and that one and they can't wait.